Welcome back to the Four Kingdoms of Anaka, everybody. I'm tormented by gnomes. It is my esteemed privilege to be your game master today. Joining me, we have Leg Day, Lemon Kiwi, and Necra on today's 60th episode of Book of Dawn IF Academy. Ooh, 60. Go us. Yeah. This, uh, this eight-part miniseries has been going on for a while. I'm so sorry I ruined all of your schedules. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Leg Day, how's it going? Any other way. Not too bad. Just finishing a stream. Some of my uh, mm -hmm. my beautiful viewers are here. Hello, friends who watched me in. It's uh, it's been a a mi mixed mixed bag of uh, of success in Overwatch today, and uh, it's probably going to be a mixed bag of successes in a, in Ioth Academy as well. So uh, we'll see how it goes. Mm -hmm. Most likely. Wow! Oh. I didn't even get to say hi. I, you know. <laughs> No, screw you. Screw you. Jalo Reflection, an oh, Imago 10 card. All right, anyways. Hi, Jen. How's it going? Ah, oh, speaking of Imago, uh, Crowan's not here for that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's chilling. Uh, making content. And yeah, that's it. Living the dream. <laughs> Overwatch League wrapped. Uh, good job, all of oh, you. Oh, finals was so season. fun. Thank yeah. you. Oh, uh, yeah. Netgra, speaking of which, how's it going? Good. Good, good. Mm -hmm. it's, awesome. been, it's been a good week. I am still recovering. Yeah. I'm very jet lagged. I hate that. The West Coast is horrible. <laughs> <laughs> no! I'm just but kidding. It's best well, you know, it, it's every time that you, uh, that you travel, it's that thing from Princess Bride where it's like, I just drained a year of your life. I just stole three hours of your life. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> it's it's brutal. Uh, I'm doing well. I have the house. I'd say yeah. the house to myself. It's just me, the eight cats, and the dog. Uh, there's a Is really... Dog now? Oh, the dog's been here the whole time. I just never talk about the dog. Oh, I'm more of a dog person. I'm very disappointed you never talked about the dog. Yeah. <laughs> I'll send you pictures. She is a sweetheart. Um, she's also <laughs> not smart at all. Can you Beautiful just call your dog a dummy. I mean, I'm look. I I can only present the world as it is, right? I'm not. <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to be honest here, uh, but I'll, I'll put up pictures later. And we have a tiny little kitten running around the house right now. Uh, if he wanders in here, I'm gonna scoop him up and put him on camera. Please. <gasps> yeah. Please. Nice. Absolutely. Okay, so Crohn's not with us. He's traveling on business, I believe, which is completely fine. It's not like we left off in the middle of anything. Does anyone remember what was going on when last we left our heroes? I think we no. just crawled out of a yeah. basement. I'm like, Mom, I'm going to break free. I'm going to make something of my life. I'm going to get a job. I'm leaving the basement. And then uh, at the top, there were people who did not want us to leave the basement. Oh, yeah, we're in the refugee camp. You're in I'm... the refugee settlement. You just overheard a plot by dragon loyalists to send assassins to kill uh, Garnet's mom. Mm. And the leadership of Brontha, who is camped outside of Ioth Academy and being blocked by a bunch of dragon tribe protesters. You overheard this plot down in the basement. Kepesk, who is Sventisco's contact with the dragon cultists, is organizing a hit. To whack all of Bronza's leadership. You emerge from the basement saying, we gotta stop them, only to be confronted by a group of scurless figures. Oh, Let's and they on. smited my bird, and it was all Alex's fault. Oh yeah, you don't know this yet, but your Una has been captured. Yeah. Mm -hmm. By an Alep. So that happened cool. off screen, so everything's fine and nothing bad is gonna happen ever. Mm-hmm. So this is where we left off. You emerged from the basement only to find four tough-looking goblins and five big, beefy, mean-looking humans all wearing rags and uh, big old sticks with nails coming out of them. And they seem to answer to this guy who has stepped up into the front and introduced himself as Big Boss Big Gob. And uh, demanding an explanation for the, the bad impersonation and defamation of character that you've inflicted upon him. Question. Mm -hmm. uh, does Garnet realize that there's something wrong with Una? Like, that they're not on... Because I figured they could probably sense they're not on the plane. 
Wait, how does that even work? Check check the familiar ability because it's linked to the find familiar spell, and that should tell you how far away, or it'll be in your class features, and that'll tell you how far away you can contact them. Child of night, is this is this thingy? Mm -hmm. Find familiar, which is dark uh, vision. So it's based on the find familiar spell. Let's find that. All right. Because I'm not that familiar with it. Do you have it, or do you want? Yeah, me to I Google just pulled it? it up. I pulled okay. it up. Okay. While you're within 100 feet, you can communicate with it telepathically. Do it doesn't say anything about. But I can it recall it at any time, right? Yes, you can use an action to temporarily dismiss it to a pocket dimension. I don't see a range limit on that. Right. Which is, you know, if you realize, so I don't think you have any way to immediately understand that something has happened to Una, but unless there's some sort of dimensional shackles in play, you should be able to Pokemon back into the Pokeball at will from any distance, if I'm reading this right. So we're not like 100 feet from offices. No, 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 no. You're way the hell. You got to remember the Golden Sphere of IOP Academy is a mile in diameter from one end to the like the farthest distance across the sphere is a mile. And so the offices are at the very center of it. So at the edge of the sphere, you'd be no closer than half a mile from it. And you're not at the very edge. You're a little bit further away from it inside the refugee camp. Okay. Yeah, I, I can't quite deliver the full-fledged leg day big gob accent. I apologize. I do the best <laughs> I can. All right. What's all this about uh, impersonating my good name here? Oi, 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 oi. Just take a shot. <laughs> oh no, I'm, drink I'm drinking my health potion. <laughs> I'm like, damn, he's getting this. into character. Okay. Yep. Cheers. Be a good one. Oh my god. <laughs> you ever forget that you're you're streaming live and you forget you're on camera? That's embarrassing. <laughs> All the time. A couple bruises. <laughs> It's the middle of, you know, casting a match and just picking your nose. It happens. Yep. So he's going to stare at uh, Athelor mm -hmm. kind of in a, is this your fault kind of look? <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't think we've met. Have it met? You've had the indignity of taking my good name and my reputation in your stinking mouth, and we haven't even met. That is downright discourteous. I'm, I'm sorry. What did I do? I am kind of a big deal around here. You may have heard of me. You, you certainly look it, sir. <laughs> oh, oh, he's got jokes. The Alphar's got jokes. Is that a short joke? Lads, I've never heard that one before. <laughs> But he's a clever little student, isn't he? No, I am the big gob. Oh, 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 you ha he has heard of me. He's got a brain as well as wits. All right, all right. You may imagine why I'm up slightly perturbed with you at the moment. No. What, you, the others, the rest of you, any clue? A single any thought? DM, any DM hints? What the fuck is this about? <laughs> were you in? I forget. I have no idea. No, they weren't. They weren't there, right? Who, <laughs> who was no there? Idea. Who was there? Uh, uh, just Quan. Only Quan knows. That's true. That's true. But was anyone in the office when it was deployed? Um, this is on the fourth year during the Green Gala when people were sneaking into the Wallers. Yeah, Gar Garnet was there in the office, mm -hmm. but I think she was somewhat distracted by the flood. Yeah, it burst out of the thing. Like, mm -hmm. I don't think anyone even heard the cube. It just ended up being, uh, <laughs> it just ended up causing a flood. I'm like, ah, oh, yeah, that was incidental. Mm hmm. So, no, you have no, absolutely no, no, uh, well, uh, is... we can get you in contact with our administrator and we can sort out this issue, but we do have to head on inside for an important matter. Uh, yep. Mm. Important matter is going to have to wait. Sorry, slight matter of defamation of character. No, I've been read in entirely on your little mechanical big gob that you crafted up. And having my name bandied about inside that big fancy school of yours, getting all sorts of unwanted attention from the big horned man himself. Ooh, 
Ooh. Mm. Well, you sound and look like an asshole, so I feel <laughs> like we did you a favor. The negotiator, everybody. <laughs> me and me and Ariana just swap characters for a second. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, gotta go in. Fuck Don you, full, asshole. <laughs> Don full Zara here for a moment. My apologies, little lady. Please, I don't mean to be rude. Beat the crap out of them. Them? Br yeah, br bring and, it. And the uh, the menacing looking thugs are going to approach as the other goblins around her. <laughs> as they approach, I want to summon both my shadows, bodyguard style. Okay. Whoosh. Whoosh. Um, you all know what time it is. Roll for initiative. <laughs> yeah. That doesn't what? mean you have to, it Not doesn't mean you have to fight, but it does mean that uh fighting is happening. Uh, something is occurring. Oh yes, it's definitely a roll twenty oh. kind of day. There we go. <laughs> it's a beat the shit out of <laughs> I, I, I need the Garnet and Ariana carry here. I've got I've got Tolva dead and nothing else. I got you. For now. Seven. <laughs> You'll Thought I was annoying to... at the oh, tournament. No. Now there's two of them. Ah, <laughs> ah, ah. This is getting out of hand. Uh, do, do, do. Oh and now the God. big gob himself. Can I get disadvantage for Alsis, please? For that pun. Thank you. <laughs> okay. All right. And also, as all of this is going down... You hear faint music in the distance. As if from a reed pipe, like a, a pan flute, a multitude of pan flutes. It's music with which you are definitely familiar. You've heard this before, and it usually leads to people misbehaving and things generally going wrong. It's a troop of satyrs, just chilling on their own, arrives on the scene. Are you kidding me? I mean, the satyrs a baddie, right? Uh, satyrs are seely fey or wild fey. They like to party. They like to have a good time. Ah, oh, great. So I'm going to roll them in as well. And we're going to summon our two shades. And Big Gob is going to go first. Oh, I should have created. At some point, I got to create some extra shadows for you because I have Noir. And what's the other one's name? Noir 2.0. <laughs> I don't know yet. <laughs> you came, no, you came up with a cool name. Noir um, and Rayon. <laughs> it was some of the. Twisting. I uh, forgot. Alucard. All right. Alucard. <laughs> uh, hey, who rolled higher than a twenty? Those bitches. Big Gob. He's a uh, big Gob clan. Ain't nothing to fuck with. Oh, we'll see about that. Hmm. Okay, let me just get also Noir deployed real quick. Which is what we're going to call him for the time being. Also Noir. <laughs> get a little mood music going on. Um, yeah, we'll play that. Turn it down just a little bit. And okay, so you summon those two up. And Big Gob is going to say, Get them! And uses a bonus action to give all of his goblins a free move. Right now? Yes. They use their, they, yeah, they can immediately move into position. So they all swoop in to take either side of your formation. Then he's going to step back all the way over here, standing directly next to his, uh, his thug. And he's going to slap that thug on the ass and say, go get him, tiger. And give him an, <laughs> an inspiration die. A 1d8 inspiration die. The utility boss. Exactly. Oh, he's playing support. Garnet, it's your turn. You summon both of your shadows. All sorts of stuff is going on. What would you like to do? Uh, what's my movement speed on these boys? Shit. 40 speed. <laughs> oh, wow. That's right. Yeah, get me, bitch. All right, <laughs> moving in. Uh, let me calculate this so I'm not cheating. Okay, not cheating. Um, 
there's a lot of bitches here. Okay, maybe we drop something. I'm gonna drop uh, some shutters and clouds to hmm. create. Are we in dim light? Actually, I should probably should ask. No, what time it's, the middle, it's the middle of the day right now. All right, dim light sphere activated. Okay, and it's a 30 foot radius, so it covers pretty much the entire battlefield. Oh, not quite the entire battlefield. I'll, I'll pull a sphere out in a moment. That is an action as you drain the very light from the surroundings. I'm gonna have my two shadows attack just normally. I don't think they get advantage just being in dim light, right? Correct, but the, can they use a bonus action to hide or is that not a thing? Yeah, the, I'll do that after they attack. Mm, okay. But that's cool. Uh, so weapon one, weapon two. Ooh. All right. That first one is not going to be good enough to hit. The second one is. So Big Gob uses a reaction to dump his minion in the way to take the hit for him. Well, that's kind of messed up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so instead, his thug is in the way and takes the nine necrotic damage in the face and has to roll the saving throw. Oh no, he just loses three health. That just happens. That's just uh, hmm. the three is for strength. Yeah, that's just you don't you don't get a save. It's just duck, duck. and then they will use hide as their bonus action. Okay. And then my dumbass gets to go. Oh yeah, I already did my action actually, and mm -hmm. I will maybe run up as well and help. Right. That'll be my turn. All right. Next up is the Goblin Alchemist, right here. Who's going to hurl a stink bomb at Mason uh. and Athalor. I knew I had to dodge the AoE. I knew some AoE <laughs> shit was about to happen. <laughs> ah, splat. It misses Athalor entirely, but because Crowan isn't here, it lands directly in Mason's face, clogs his, uh, completely overwhelms his senses and he passes out oh damn it's get stink bombed yep get stink bombed athlor you managed to dodge it entirely now everybody gains a fortune's favor so all of you have a 1d8 inspiration die that you can spend on any roll but it must be used before the end of tonight's adventure Sweet. It is now time for this gob right here, who is going to use a bonus action to pull a dirty trick on Athalor. Athalor, roll acrobatics or athletics, your choice. Uh, that might be terrible. Uh, well, I got a nine, so. And I you got, got a nine. nine. Okay. Uh, in case of a tie, everything stays the same. Okay. Attempts to trip you, sweeping the leg and going under and just like poking you in the in right behind the kneecap, you know, in the knee pit in order to knock you down. When that fails, we'll just use his action to hit you twice with a club. I don't have a club. Ow. That first one is going to be a hit. For four points of damage. They are not fighting to kill. They are just fighting to beat you up. All right, that is it for him. It is now time for the satyrs. They are sitting on the sidelines and they start cheering. Woo! Fight, 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 fight. They all have uh, tankards of ale and they are, let's see, they don't want to use charm. They don't want to use frightened. They don't want to use lullaby. Uh, they're just going to go ahead and cheer and use their action to bolster anybody who does something particularly entertaining until the end of the fight. The goblin up on the top wearing the little hat is going to attempt to bite Ariana's shins <laughs> as, a dog. as a bonus action. Huh? Uh, does a 19 hit? What's uh... your shin armor class? <laughs> yeah, okay. specifically your Go ahead. Uh... Man, you really killed her. 
Wow. Directly <laughs> no! in the shins. <laughs> in, the, like in the shin modem. <laughs> <laughs> Not in the modem. All right. Well, uh, Necro escapes being bitten in the shins this time. Temporarily. <laughs> We'll see what happens as we. Yeah, I got a DC the... too. Is that heading my way? Hold on. <laughs> oh, right. uh, uh, she's, back, she's back. She's back. I'm back. Hey, oh. just in time to get bit in the shins. Uh, 19 to bite you in the shins. Cool. Uh, okay. On a successful bite, you are now grappled, and you oh. take two points of damage. And as an action, it just starts wailing on you with its fists and its and its legs. Like it just bites onto you. It just Wah! <laughs> roll an opposed athletics check, please. Oh, this, I'm not. You got a nineteen. That. These goblins are strong. Okay, uh, the flailing is surprisingly effective. You take two points of damage, and you are knocked prone. As it just, it's a flailing ball of chaos. It's like a weasel just attached to you and just flailing all over the place with no actual combat plan. Okay. That being said and done, it is now time for the hired muscle to move in. All right. This guy right here, where is he? Whoop. This guy right here is going to, He's he's had his strength drained. He's going to step right here and attempt to thwack Garnet. Like, so you try it? Twice. <laughs> and because his yeah. strength is down by three, his attacks are down by yeah. one, just because of the way that the math worked out. Well, okay, does the 22 hit? Yeah. Mm hmm. Are you, are you checking for any b that you might have? Uh, <laughs> checking uh, for the, bullshit. The Garnet bullshit do, do, you need, do you need a moment uh, for additional BS? Uh, I do not need, uh, you know, fuck this guy. He, he, yeah, he can uh, thwack me. Let me do okay. math. You take six points of bludgeoning damage. And again, they're not fighting to kill. They're just fighting to beat the crap out of you. Okay. Oh no, you take five points of bludgeoning damage because he's been weakened. And he's going to swing a game. Does a 21 hit? Yeah. You can have an additional four points of damage. Is that spell you cast a concentration spell? It is not. Okay. That's good. Okay. That's it for him. In the dim darkness, these two thugs are going to move in. And because Ariana is prone, they get advantage as they just go to beat the crap out of you. Remember, if you have any reaction spells that would help in this case, you're allowed to use them. Otherwise... Enjoy, ooh, uh, 11. Damn. What's your armor class? Mine is mm -hmm. 12. Unlucky. What's your HP? Do we need to 30? call 911? 15. Okay, okay, take 15 points of bludgeoning damage. Because they're not fighting to kill, if you drop to zero, you're immediately stabilized. You're not gonna die. You're just gonna be unconscious. If something is instantaneous, oh no, it takes an action. Yeah, the it's about the casting time. The casting time has to be a reaction. I'm Are you still thinking. up after you take 15 points of bludgeoning damage? Yes. Okay, all right. Uh, yeah. I have t I have two more goons, so they're going to move in. Do they have enough movement? Yes, they do. They're going to move in to flank Athalor and attempt to beat the crap out of him. And because they're flanking, they're going to attack with advantage. Does a 14 hit Athalor? A 14 does. Okay. Four points of bludgeoning damage. 11 points of bludgeoning damage total. 17 points of bludgeoning damage. Uh, 20 points of bludgeoning damage in total, I believe, if my math checks out. Yes, my, ma my math checks out. So they're, okay. just gonna, they're just beating the crap out of these kids. <clears throat> oh, crap. You rolled in, but you didn't click on your token, so your turn might have gotten skipped. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Where the hell are your initiatives? I was, I think, four. <laughs> All right, well, it's time for you to take your turn, and it's time for <laughs> Ariana to take her turn. We fell for one of the classic blunders. Ariana, what was your initiative roll? Seven. Oh, yeah. All right. I thought I clicked on the token. Uh, it said Ariana 7. Something might have gone wrong. Whoop. 
Okay, we have oh, Garnet. Oh, she's there. We have Ariana. Skips well, I just fixed it. I just fixed ah. it. You weren't in the order. Okay, Ariana, uh, go ahead and take your turn. You're starting out prone. Uh, I'm trying to figure out what I have available to, like... Get everyone off of you. Yeah. I cast Fireball. <laughs> <laughs> just bomb the ground I'm in front of me. I'm thinking about it. My options are becoming slimmer and slimmer that we might just have to go for a fat fireball to the face. Oh, no. Uh, no, I'm I'm going to use Tidal Wave. That's a good choice. As you're yeah. using Tidal Wave, you brought extra snacks. So you can either heal 2d4 plus 2, thanks to the Ariana's Snack Streamloots card, yeah. or... Get plus 1d4 on a skill check, which would not be an attack. Do you want to take the heals or do you want to take the skill bonus? Can I wait? You can wait. <laughs> there are two instances of snacks that have been played. So Aww. there's two snacks for the party to draw from. There's a few oh, other good. stimulus cards I'm going to deploy at the end of the round. But at first, I want you to go ahead and take your turn. Okay. Well, I use Tidal Wave. That's right. Go ahead and click on that spell, and it should... Oh, there we go. Okay. And that hits everybody in a... Let's see. Up to 30 feet wide, up to 10 feet... 30 feet long, 10 feet wide, and 10 feet tall. Uh, where do you want to drop the tidal wave? Uh, the people in front of me. Okay, so just these three... These three yeah. in front of you? Okay. Yeah. All three of them have to roll... Dexterity oh, saving. Actually, throws. how hurt is Athalor? Uh, I'm gonna have your turn. I'm gonna have my turn after yours, and we'll have an instant heal from Ariana's stack snacks. So, so if you want to take the snacks before you start friendly firing, could be an option. <laughs> friendly you want the firing. Snacks. <laughs> right. I, I, I would I roll the snacks for mine. I, okay. I forgot that. He... <laughs> so, oh yeah, he doesn't get affected by this. No way. <laughs> Again, if no, you want I'll to take both the heals and then take the tidal wave to the face, if that's more tactically advantageous, it's your call. No, I'll just hit the stuff in front of me. All right, you're going to hit all three of them as you conjure up a connection to the elemental wellsprings, summon forth a bunch of water, which doesn't animate into an elemental this time, fortunately. And the first one beefs his save because he wasn't expecting this. The second one also beefs his save. The goblin who's, again, just attached to you and chomping furiously, does successfully save. So, the two thugs each take 18 points of damage and the kicker effect, which is... Let me see. Which is they are knocked prone. Okay. Good. However, the nasty little goblin that's just biting you is not dislodged. The, it's like you've got the iron jaw, just a ridiculous amount of jaw strength going on. It's actually somewhat astounding don't worry he's about to take a fireball to the face a little bit <laughs> uh that being said he does get blasted in the face with half of that damage so we're going to take nine points of damage on this goblin and you are prone you you are prone and grappled you can use half your movement speed to stand up if you want uh i guess i'll you i guess i'll do that yeah okay and because you're grappled, your movement speed is zero. Uh, so you can still... Hmm. No, actually, you can't stand up because your movement speed is zero. You can't spend half a zero. Oh. Yeah, you can. No, you, yeah, it, you can't divide, divide by zero. It's the other way around. Yeah. Fine. You spend zero movement and you stand up. Okay. <laughs> Bargain. Yeah. Trade offer. All right, so you used an action. You used half your movement. Got anything else in the tank? I don't... I'm going to put... Actually, yeah, because I have bonus actions, right? Mm -hmm. Remember that you can't cast a spell with a bonus action in the same round that you cast another spell. But if you have Are any you special... Unless Are you, you sure? have a point of inspiration to, to give me. No, Hunter's Mark is one bonus action. But there's a rule that you can't cast two spells in the same round unless one of them is a cantrip. Oh. It's a weird little offshoot rule designed to cover certain, you know... Um. Okay, I didn't... I, it's okay. I need the nerf. Um... <laughs> That's fine. I don't right. have anything else then. Okay. Athelor, your turn. They're beating the crap out of you. What would you like to do? How's Athelor's brain right now? Uh, the uncle timer has not gone off yet. 
this okay. evening it's going to expire. So you have a few hours. Oh, I forgot about that. Mm -hmm. So Athelor can't make telepathic bonds? Correct. That is still inaccessible. Unless you want to try to break through the level 8 mind blank spell that's been placed on you. Or dispel it. Mmm. Okay. <laughs> Weird time. Uh, Athelor is going to. As he's getting beaten up, he's just sort of like crouching into his bag. And he pulls out, open on a page, the manual of golems and just shoves it towards one of the. <laughs> Towards one of the guys. Oh no, I can't read. <laughs> this can't harm me because I can't read. Oh, one XP. One XP. Maybe. I was just saying the same joke that you were saying. Okay. Now, his first instinct wouldn't be to try to read it because he has to try to read it in order for this to work. So, I'm going to have you roll persuasion or deception or something like that to try to get this this uh goon to read the book uh i i'm gonna i'm gonna perform a surrender it's like i surrender look at this the terms of my surrender okay you remember the terms of my surrender <laughs> okay roll a performance check oh, a 19. oh my god i should have figured someone was gonna weaponize the freaking thing <laughs> I didn't have any spells. He's, he's staring at it. His eyes go wide. <laughs> uh, blood starts seeping from like his tear ducts and he clutches at his head and just, ah! Uh, uh, he uh, he doesn't seem to quite be dead, but severely injured and no longer particularly interested or focused or cognizant. Uh, mm. You may have just ruined this man's brain for life. Damn. Well, he shouldn't beat up children. Fair. I think we're karmatically even. <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> All right. Nobody else is going to look at the book now, by the way. <laughs> really? Yeah. So, so on so the battlefield. I'm for that, but oh, okay. Oh. Huh. On this huh. battlefield, they've all seen you <laughs> pull the book. And they're like, okay, note to self: don't read the book. What do satyrs think of that? Did he just throw his homework at him? <laughs> <laughs> I guess the literacy down here isn't as good as it ought to be. Mm. What do these teach in these schools? Ooh, 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 ooh. Fight! 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 Uh, I'm gonna roll the Ariana's uh, snacks heal. Okay. Ooh, ten health back. Excellent. Pog champ. I guess I and should do that too, actually. You're welcome to do it right now if you wanna if you wanna take that. There's munchin. You're like, and wait, I have a potato uh, chip. <laughs> I, I, I'm trying to figure chip. out what my options are when I don't wow. have magic for combat. <laughs> or at least I've only got one magic. I was gonna say you got told the dead back, so yeah. you got that. Uh, so, the guy in front of me is no longer here. Well, no longer uh, mentally pog champ. Let me put a <laughs> you know, very good. Let me put a put a uh, a cringe icon there. He, there we go. <laughs> the power of cringe. Mm -hmm. uh, Athelor then is going to turn around, and he's going to slam the book closed mm -hmm. near the other one while casting Toll of the Dead as if it like slams oh. out sound wave towards him. Okay, roll it. I have to make a wisdom saving throw. Uh, 15, that saves. I can't lucky dice someone else's saving throw, can I? You can lucky dice someone else's saving throw. Oh yeah, go you ahead. You can also lucky Do dice it. someone's attack. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah, I'll lucky I dice a saving remembered. throw. <laughs> All right. Oh. <laughs> I'm 18. <laughs> I'm well. fornicated and remain so. Uh, anything else? Uh, I can't cast two cantrips, can I? Correct. You can only cast one cantrip per round. Yeah, that's even with quick and spell. Damn. Mm. Wait. 
I can still use Misty Step, right? Because that's not from Uncle. That's Correct. from being Storm Touched. Correct, and that's not a cantrip, so you could use that. In which case, I'm gonna use my bonus action I, mm -hmm. to Misty Step over to the corner of this darkness. Mm -hmm. And then, while I'm aligned with Big Gob, Athelor's gonna shout, You idiots! Get these shadows away from me! Roll a deception check. Uh, roll a performance check. You know what? I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna use uh You have a D8 my... inspiration die. You have yeah, a I'm codex? Use... Or do you have a performance from anything? I I do have a I do have a one D4 performance die from Drama Club. Thank you for the cheese, Lemon. A 16. Are we satisfied <laughs> with a 16? Are we satisfied with a 24? I think a 24 will do. Okay. All right. All right. They're going to have to roll oh, an insight check and beat a 24 in order to not be fooled. All right. Will that do it for you? That will do it for me. I, I've, I've okay. used all my bullshit. <laughs> it's more bullshit on the way. <laughs> <laughs> more. Try right. to group them up for the AOE. At that moment, two Academy Wardens on patrol emerge from the northern part of the uh, of the alleyways. Also thanks to a Streamlist card. Well, oh, sweet, thanks. Oh yeah, baby! They're the Wardens. And they've rolled in. Know. It's Big Gob's turn as he turns around and he says, You! Blasted imposter! Don't listen to him! Get the kids! Uh, I don't know, boss. It sounds kind of sus. Mm. Yeah, Big Gob is definitely sus. All right. He is going to scream, focus fire, and points at... Hmm. Athlor is kind of out of range for this. Who's, who's he going to focus fire on? Mm, yeah, I'm afraid it's going to have to be Ariana. Damn. What am I, chop liver? <laughs> it's, it's, all, it's all about positioning, all right? He's going to say, focus fire. And all of the enemies nearby are going to immediately be able to make an extra attack against Ariana. Uh, However, what? two of them are prone and therefore have disadvantage. But... They also have pack tactics, which neutralizes this. Can they roll insight to see which focus fire they believe? Because I called a focus fire oh, too. Oh yeah, no, that's true. They do need to roll an insight check, which is just a flat wisdom. Wait, we're confused. Yeah, they basically they <laughs> don't big they don't answer the order because they're getting two different orders at the same time. So his special leadership ability does not work. Well, well played. <laughs> Who needs magic? We've got cheese. <laughs> All right. Uh, furious God. at this point, Big Gob is going to go directly over to Athalor, which would proc an attack of opportunity from also Noir if you'd like to take that. Mm, and it would be advantage because they're hidden, right? Uh, roll a stealth check. Oh. Is that with advantage? No. Because of a dim. Ah. But it is at plus six. That's the that's the special that these guys have. God, I don't understand this sheet. Just roll one d twenty plus six. Okay, that's That'll do fair. It. A nineteen. A survey says yes. You may have advantage on this roll. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, you zap him, and he's no longer got any of his allies near him, so he cannot use his special so he just takes 10 points of necrotic damage and loses some health where was he was he in this spot no nah, he, yeah he's, he was in this spot oh a little above so okay. you don't get two attacks of opportunity you only get the one yeah all right uh he is going to attack athelor twice with his scimitar does a 16 hit it does enjoy uh... six points of slashing damage unless we've got some bs for this you have lucky die if you want to be weird. Uh, uh, you know what? I also got silvery barbs from... Ooh. Actually, no, I didn't. No, never mind. I changed out for Bless because it gave me an enchantment spell that wasn't one of the sorcerers. Never mind. Yeah, I get hit with that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 
Okay. Enjoy six points of slashing damage. Mmm, yummy. Makes a second attack. This one has disadvantage. Uh, 14. Your AC is 14, right? Uh, yeah, so... Enjoy six more points of splashing damage. Oh, yeah, no, that's true. There was a, uh, a streamless card playing where a sudden fairy noise distracts him, which will inflict disadvantage on his first attack. So I'm going to reroll that first attack he made this round. It's a 13. So you only take six points of slashing damage this round. Let's go. Uh, that's going to clear that card out. And then he's going to use a bonus action to disengage and start running down huh? the alleyways. Are you for real? Yeah. He dips. Big, big gob dips. Wait, is he gone gone or is he just? You can, you can chase. He's off the battle map. You can choose. Can I to use my reaction him. to try and trip him? Not under normal circumstances. Uh, if you have a point of inspiration, you could do that. I've got right inspiration. You've got That's inspiration. True. That's true. That is true. The name That's of the raid. <laughs> All right. Then go ahead and make an unarmed attack or an opposed athletics or, yeah, we'll do opposed athletics or acrobatics. Your choice. Uh, Let's do opposed. You choose on athletics. your. You choose what skill you want to use. I choose what skill I want to use. Yeah, sure. Let, let, let's do let's do athletics. Okay, roll an athletics check. Ooh. so close! Oh, <laughs> oh, oh, just the two of you stumble into each other essentially, and he sort of scrambles. Oh, and then I want to use silvery barbs. Right, so as he's like running past, you just cast go fuck you. <laughs> okay, go ahead and uh, I, I get disadvantage on that, right? That's how that one works. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so, so if you get anything worse than this, which is unlikely, it's but very unlikely. Yeah, sorry, no joy. Oh, he still oh. gets away. He starts running. You may give chase if you want, but if you give chase, you're going to have to abandon the battlefield. Also, the Cupbearer of the Gods card has been played, meaning all of you may immediately spend as many hit dice as you want. Remember, oh, you God. have your level in hit dice. So you all have five hit dice every day. You may spend as many of those as you want, and you add your constitution modifier to each roll. But keep in mind, when you spend oh, them, you're roll. spent. What was that? Uh, Constitution die to each roll, so that's plus four on fourteen, which is plus eighteen, which brings me up to thirty-one. Mm -hmm. Does anybody else want to burn some hit dice to heal? Nope. Okay, Necro, you're good. All right. I'm good. All right. Big Gob is on the run. You may leave the battle mat in order to pursue. It's your choice. Garnet, it's your turn. There is one thug in immediate uh, threat range of you. What um, would you like to do? What's the meterage on how far he is at this point? Oh, let's see. He started his turn here. He moved here. It's like 10 more feet down the alley. So he's, he's uh, 40 feet away. 40 feet away? Mm-hmm. From you. <laughs> What's the uh, any uh, any ten year old in the chat? We're, we're on our way. Well, we surround him with because my people have forty feet of movement, mm -hmm. so they can, they can reach and attack this round. They as will long as go they can get to the edge of the map. Yeah, they can. They're gonna go and body block him actually because okay. they can. They will. We can. I don't know how to pretend this, but like this, we'll just pretend like this. Yeah. Then I will. They can attack walk. if you want. They have the movement. Yeah. I'm, I'm a, so I have to move. I have 30 feet of movement. How Which means close you can get right behind him. You can put yourself like right here if you want, effectively. Okay. I'll we'll give him keep... flanking advantage on the attacks, right? E if Garnet's behind. Yes, because you're not technically here. We're all using our imaginations. <laughs> We're using imagination. The theater of the mind. Exactly. So yeah, you have flanking on him at this point, only if you're armed with a melee weapon of some kind. I'm going to uh, do a few things. 
Okay. <laughs> First, everyone takes an intimidating stance. Gamer okay. pose, activated. <laughs> We're going to body block the alleyway and gamer pose on him. Free action to gamer pose. And then <laughs> I will pop Necrotic Shroud as my action Ooh. to instill fear, but while I say this, say, uh, surrender yourself to me or I will take away your senses until you are nothing but a wobbling paper bag. And demand him to surrender. I don't want to be a paper bag. Just make a charisma saving throw. Oh, yeah. no. -y. Oh, no. -y. Uh, what's the, mm, what's your proficiency modifier? It's three, so 11. And what's your charisma modifier? Uh, five. Mm, unfortunate. He is frightened of you. Roll an intimidation check. <laughs> That'll be. <A> dirty 20. <laughs> wait, 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 no, 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 wait, 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 what? <laughs> no, 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 wait, wait. Hands behind your back. Oh. Uh, uh, yep, yep, oh, this is all a great big old stinking misunderstanding. Uh, terribly sorry. Thought you were somebody else. Uh, uh, don't kill me. Hands. He goes ahead and puts his hand behind his back. Do I have rope or? <laughs> I have a rope of useful items. Surely there's a rope in there. <laughs> I will tie his dumb okay, ass so up. You pull off a rope and you're gonna go ahead and tie up Big Gob. Okay. And I will use a bonus section. Mm -hmm. My fundamentals of shadow. Where the heck is it? Somewhere in here. To uh, deafen him with my crushing curse. That's all right. Oh, no. oh so no. He can't get any other stupid orders uh, he, or he be convinced make... other. He has to make Otherwise. a saving throw. Yeah. Uh, he failed. It's going great. <laughs> uh, roll 2d6. He's going to take the psychic damage. It won't kill him. Okay. He takes three psychic damage, and he's deafened now. He can't hear anything. Is everyone looking like they're conceding after this? Well, it's kind of hard to see in the dim light. Oh, but now it's now it's mechanically... <laughs> <laughs> is, is speaking still a free action? Speaking is still free action. <laughs> so so I can continue to impersonate. Mm -hmm. Surrender, you idiots! Have you seen her? <laughs> Roll. They all turn around, including the two who are knocked on their asses. Their heads poke out from either side of this pillar as they're like rolling around on the ground. And they look over and they just see Dark Angel mode Garnet over there in the corner. Give me a performance check, please, good sir. Ba -ba 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 -ba. A 19. Nice. Okay. Uh, on that note, they're all going to look at each other and drop their weapons. Except for the goblin who is still biting you, Ariana, who is frothing at the mouth and just uh, seems to be completely oblivious to the world. <laughs> Was that rabies or something? <laughs> <laughs> Those wardens are about to beat the shit out of that goblin. This this goblin down here, the goblin who lobbed a sticky bomb, is going to look at everything going on, look at the darkness, and then just yoink. Oh, and my shadows hold an action. If this guy moves, he they hit him. Mm. Oh yeah, he's not going anywhere. Uh, <laughs> just in case. As the goblin passes by, the satyrs headbutt him. Oh. Ooh. <laughs> and knock him on his ass. <laughs> All right, where's this guy? This is this goblin right here who is also going to use a disengage to... Oh, no, he's not in melee range of anybody. So he's just going to move to here and then use a bonus action to dash directly into the two Academy Wardens. Just bounces into their armor, plops down on the ground, looks up at them. They just tap their flails in their hands. The satyrs, uh, they cheer. Woo! She's scary. <laughs> I don't hate it. <laughs> One of the wardens is going to stay here. 
with <laughs> this goblin. And the other one is going to push into the darkness and see that Ariana is getting chewed on. And activate Warden's Grasp. Points over, marks the flailing, gnawing goblin and teleports it within five feet of the Warden. The Warden then hits it on the head. <laughs> Twice. Bonk. The goblin is down. Ariana, it's your turn. You're no longer being chewed on. Congratulations. Oh, thank God. Otherwise, what? he would have gotten a fireball to the face. <laughs> and so would everybody <laughs> else in the area. Wait, where is it? Where'd he go? Oh, uh, he, he, he got teleported He's over here. Thing for you. And then he got knocked unconscious by a warden. Oh, well, I don't care. I'm still going to send a <laughs> fireball at him. Okay, I, I need to reiterate the way that fireball works. All right, I just want to make sure that you, you know what you're buying here. Um... <laughs> No. Fireball. This is oh. fireball. <laughs> this oh, oh, actually it's uh, slightly smaller than that. I this is burn, fireball. I can I can burn the warden to a crisp. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't, but you can. Ariana chose violence today. <laughs> I, I remember that Mason's unconscious here as well. <laughs> True. Okay. So, I mean, look, uh, this is the area of effect. You could hit the warden and both of the, the thugs, all of whom, except for the goblin, have surrendered. You you could lay waste to them with a fireball if you wanted. <laughs> I never thought Ariada would be the one to execute the prisoners, but here we are. <laughs> I'm going to send a scorching ray instead. I'll compromise. Okay. All right. All right. <laughs> I'm going to scorching ray. The goblin and the two other things that tried to murder me. Okay. <laughs> that. You know? You get three rays. Those? Ooh. Ooh. That's for the goblin, by the way. Okay, so two on the goblin and one on one of the two thugs who's on the ground? Yeah. Okay, because they're on the ground and you're standing over them and you're using a ranged attack, you can nothing personal kid them and which means you get advantage on that last shot so click the spell one more time we'll take the four unless it's a crit okay uh <laughs> you <laughs> the warden whacks the goblin on the head all right this vagabond has been subdued and nothing will and then two bolts of fire <laughs> scorch past and char the goblin into absolute nothingness whoosh and then one of the uh, one of the thugs on the ground, you just zap him with fire. He's like, "Oh, I surrender! Ah, stop, please!" But well, maybe you should have thought of that before you attacked us, huh? No. Huh? <laughs> huh? Roll an intimidation check, please, Ariana. <laughs> yep, I'll never do it again. I promise. Yeah, you and your buddies better scurry out of here. <laughs> Is that it for you, Ariana? Yeah, that's it. He okay. chewed on my ankle. He had to go. Did he die? Is the goblin oh, yeah. dead? Super dead. Oh, excellent. Super dead. He, he, a pile he's of been completely meat. Thanos snapped. Well, well, he had rabies, so he needed to be removed from the population anyway. <laughs> he had to be <laughs> cleansed. <laughs> this is a culling. <laughs> this entire city must be purged. Um, Athelor, it's your turn. Can I get a welfare check on a uh, mana Frank of a book? Uh, uh, alive, just barely, kind of dead to the world, muttering to himself and just clawing at his eyes. Alright, and what about the one who's uh, less uh, destroyed? Completely unharmed, but surrendering. Athelor points out a very, like, an armed gauntlet thing at it. You! Step away from the tiefling! Backs away immediately. 
Oh. Okay. We're alive. Okay. Uh, Athelora doesn't have anything more for this initiative order. Okay. The thugs have surrendered, uh, including this guy over here. Actually, this guy here is he's going to try to book it. And <clears throat> two of the satyrs are going to attempt to headbutt into the ground. Which they do. And then they sit on him. Okay, so yeah, the entire combat is essentially over. You have subdued the targets. The academy wardens are like, students, what are you doing out here? Uncovering some very disastrous plots. We need to speak to Master L now. Just kind of has the shadows like shove the tied up goblin in the warden's direction and what? All right. So you have brought Big Gob to justice. Everyone else is piled in and gathered up. Well, we can escort you back immediately. Yeah. Oh my God, Ariana us. really wants to fireball that. <laughs> Look at all these <laughs> juicy targets. Yeah, let's go see Master L now immediately. I mean, it's weird that Una hasn't gotten back to me yet. All right, one of the wardens is going to stay here to clean up the mess. The other one is going to go ahead and bring you back through the causeway. Uh, the satyrs are, are booing you and saying, come back, that was awesome. We just got started. One of them pulls out their pipes to start playing an enchanting song. The other one thwacks him and says, stupid freaking treaty, remember? Eh? Don't get us in trouble. We might need you in a little bit if you can hang around. Okay. All right, see you in a bit. And <laughs> goes uh, All right. inside. So the warden is going to go ahead and take you on a carpet all the way back to the academy. It was the Ariana Snacks of health and what was the other It was choice? health or plus 1d4 on a skill check. And both of those have now been used. Oh, oh As, it was just for them. Okay, gotcha. Yeah. Well, it was there were two of them available, and whoever used them first used them. Oh. And Ariana and I got the shippy and I was in round yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> I did too. I just liked it. <laughs> I was into that. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> Flushed Ariana. Man, she's hot when she's evil. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! All right. Heavy fog rolls in, obscuring the entire camp, clouding out the sun, a sudden change in the weather. Uh, the warden riding up on the carpet says, I still should not have been out there unsupervised like that. As you can tell, it's pretty dangerous, especially right now with tension so high. Yeah, you're right, but I think in the grand scheme of things, um... Preventing the fall of an empire is going to be worth it. The what now? We're out on official Elnat orders, okay? We only need to speak to her. Can we just get a move on? She's like very stressed. <laughs> stop, stop yapping. Just all right, get. all right. Well, go ahead and not ask any more questions. <laughs> and I'd like to think she's still there in her freaking terrifying form, just on the carpet. <laughs> <laughs> Just seething no. in my little floating <laughs> angry form. <laughs> right, where'd I put that jank map? Here's the jank map. Okay, jank map. You're transported all the way back through the causeway, which floated down here to the refugee settlement. They uh, go, they enter, but the causeway is not going to move. It needs to be down here right now, so they're just going to fly and carpet you all the way up to the top of the spire where Elnau is posted up. They drop you off at the, the landing platform right outside of Elnau's office. She's in the middle of talks with a whole bunch of people. There's messengers coming and going. There's wardens going back and forth. And she sees a lot of you arriving with a warden. And uh, Garnet, you can see herself going, okay, all right, let's get ready to deal with whatever bullshit's going on now. <laughs> what the... <laughs> <laughs> Is she wrong there? Regent, these students say they're acting on your orders. They were outside in the refugee camp. Elnau looks over, gives sort of raises an eyebrow. 
Uh, Hello. And they had urgent business acting on your behalf. Yes, that's, that's correct. Thank you. You've done well. You may resume your duties. We've also rounded up several uh, ruffians enacting in the camp and report that to your commander. All right. You have procedures in place to handle that. We'll go ahead. Thank you. Dismissed. So wait until everybody else is clear. Ha answer a couple of questions. Caretakers are asking. Send off a sending scroll in another direction. When everyone's clear, she has the staff of Ioth in her hand. She'll say, okay, what is it? Well, you got my message, right? I forgot about the message. Can you refresh me? Oh, no. Uh, oh, Una message? never made it. it. Yeah, yeah, that was it. No wonder I didn't remember. No, what message? What do you mean, no, what message? Can I, like, sense if Una's, like... Like, I, can I tell if she is... Or they have been killed, uh, right? Yes. And so no... So I don't they, sense that. Mm -hmm. And they're not within 100 feet. So I will, at this point, recall them out mm -hmm. of confusion. Okay. The moment you do, and you reach out to dismiss, you reach out through... The Emerald Tablets through the, the bindings between the four kingdoms through that bond of magic that connects the two of you. And that bond is not broken. But you strike a barrier. When you tug on that thread, something is... It's like there's no slack in that cord of magic. That causal connection between you and Una. Still there, but doesn't give. Can you, speaking of El now, can you use the spell magic on me to break okay. this familiar bond? I, I can't, I don't know where Una is and I can't recall them and they were supposed to send you a message and I got interrupted some, for some reason. All right, she'll cast a spell magic. The bond is still there. And it's How still, does that not break it? It's still blocked. Is so Una, Una never came here? No. Can you cast locate person object thing to find them? Does, does she have that spell in her repertoire? If she doesn't, she has people for that. Well, well either way, that, that's a different issue. Um, there's an assassination on the Bronthans planned. That uh, They're on their way here, and... We heard it in the refugee camp, so we need to go intercept that. Okay. Any other details? We think it's uh, to do with the dragon tribes. Oh. I hope that wasn't metagaming. I'm pretty sure they sound dragony. Oh, yeah, and right. it was draconic. Yeah, that's, okay. that's, that's completely fair. That's not dragon tribe-y. Okay. Give me two minutes. Make your preparations, all right? And she takes off, leaving the lot of you in her office. It's her old office. It's not Ioth's office at the moment. Ah, oh, damn. <laughs> so no loot. This office is right around the corner. <laughs> if, you, if you feel like, uh, if you have something you want to do. But yeah, you have two minutes to make whatever preparations you feel the need to make. Oh. Uh, thanks for your help back there. Let's go. Let's go save your mom. All right. We wait. Okay. <laughs> and we wait. Give me one moment to assemble a strike team. Oh, is there someone in the room that can try to locate object while she's away? She'll send for Rednop. Rednop okay. is, as the master of divination, that would absolutely fall under his tenure. But. Uh, in two minutes, you're leaving. Right. So let's see if he even has time to pull that off. Oh, he has his orb. Yeah, he's gonna. He's just gonna look for Una in the orb. He's gonna start scrying and seeing if he can locate Una anywhere. Under the orb, red no. All right. Can you send us a message when you find out? This is very unlike them to just mm. disappear, and I can't recall them, etc. You're blocked? Yeah, I can't recall them, and dispel magic doesn't work. Mm. That indicates the usage of a dimensional anchor. 
the Peninsula Anchor would block any attempts to move Una from one of the four kingdoms to another, or any intermediary pocket dimensions. Well, weren't we able to open a pocket dimension door by just communicating with the Anchor person and having them open a door to connect the dimensions? Yes, like but that was different. That was connecting to a pocket dimension. This is a person or a, a force that prevents travel between any. It's not like it's not like Tarselmore's vault, which was a separate place that was lost and we just needed to find it. This is a a barrier, an anchor that prevents transit from one plane of existence to another. It's not an effect on you. It's an effect on the other side. It would be something affecting mm. Una. Hmm. But give oh. me a moment. I'll see if I can scry. El now returns with Untermaler and eight wardens. That's it. That's all we should need. Okay. So we're going first. Teleport magic can only affect so many. Actually, let me check how many tele how many people a teleport spell can affect in the first place. Do do El now teleport. Up to eight willing creatures of your choice. Okay. So assuming that the three of you want to go with, that is oh, and they got um I almost forgot about poor Mason. They got him back. Uh, he's recovering from acute stink bomb poisoning. <laughs> okay, so assuming that the three of you want to go with, do the three of you want to go with? I think Athelor would probably be like to Garnet, I think right now another warden would be more useful to your family than me. I need you there, Athelor. What if... The worst case scenario happens. While I'm out there, the sage can't redo this. Well, she should come anyway, right? She's stronger than a warden. Oh. She okay. is, but if I'm out there and he comes back, we're going to be so far from anyone who can constrain him. And then your family would be in the crossfire as well. Well, if the sage can't come, then that makes sense. I promise I'll, I'll be here when you come back. Or you could go to the sage and she could reset you and then you could come with us. Maybe I'll see if the sage will come with me. I'm sure someone Take else here can teleport. Yeah, we'll, we'll just we'll come after. Master Rel now isn't the only person here who can manage teleporting, I'm sure. That's correct. Okay. Okay, well, please send me you a message this. when you're done. Mm -hmm. What Through the sage or something. Master Redknob's staying here as well anyway. I'll bring back up. Good luck. Okay. Ariana, are you coming? Of course. Sweet. If you want me there, I'll be there. Yeah. The fireball something for people. <laughs> Athor is currently acutely one, aware that he's a liability. <laughs> <laughs> Feels bad. XP? Is XP? Yes? Oh. No? Oh, XP? okay, you're yeah. good. I, I thought I saw your mouth move mm. and nothing come out. <laughs> mm. Well, that's normally happens when I talk. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay, no other preparations, and Athlo is going to stay behind. Athlo is going to the sage. Okay, Athlo is going to head directly to the sage. Do not pass go, do not collect $100. All right. As Athelor departs, the strike team forms up. They all link hands. Elnau closes her hands together, focuses on the teleportation spell. A ring of blue light encircles all of you, flowing with runes in a circle as she focuses on the place that she intends to send all of you. And let's see. Ariana, I'm going to have you roll... 1d100, please. I would ask why, but I don't know if I want to know. 62. Okay. Okay. Do, do, do. You 
you scare me. <laughs> Good. Good. I'm numbed by it because Leg Day always accidentally says <laughs> a name. Big names and then yeah, stuff happens. Infernal and mouth disease. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> so the issue here is that teleportation is not guaranteed 100% to work all the time. It has some ins and outs. If you're using a teleportation circle, it pretty much always works. But when you're teleporting, you arrive, if you're not super familiar with the place that you're going to, there's a chance that you can arrive off target. And on a 62, you do in fact arrive off target. Distance off target is 1d10 times 1d10 miles. Oh, what? Uh, that many percentage of the distance. Okay. They are 20 miles out of town. And you are 40% off. So 40% of 20 miles would be, what, 8? Yeah. Five, eight, uh, four eight. miles. Wait. How dumb am I? I'm very dumb. <laughs> 20 miles, 40%, 20% of 20 would be 4. So oh, 8 yeah, miles. Eight. You're 8 miles away. And... Okay, 1d118 is not a real die. Joseph, please. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right. You arrive in the desert, some distance away from the camp, but you can see it. There's a cliff rising up, like a rocky promontory rising up, and, and you haven't been this far out for a, for a while. You haven't been further away than the refugee camp or the silent city, which only kind of counts for a while. When you teleport out, you see tents, hundreds of tents with blue and then copper uh, rings on the top and copper banners. It's an enormous camp of dragon tribe, the tribes Vudazan and Bothotlo. They've got this massive area set up and it goes for a long, long distance. It's all pretty well organized. You can see there are guards in position. There's huge areas, common eating areas. They've got, uh, it's like, you know, like a music festival, except really, really well organized. Uh, and you can hear loud chants in Draconic. But the actual war camp is miles in the distance. It's a good, what do we say, eight miles? Yeah. Eight miles away and not quite in sight. El now looks around and swears. Okay, fastest option. The wardens are going to unfurl some magic carpets and say, everyone on board, let's just go. Okay. But it's going to take a few minutes to make that trip. As you're flying over, you can see that the Dragon Tribe camps go on for, again, a long, long place. There must be hundreds, maybe thousands, have shown up from the Vudazan, Botholo, and a few other tribes as well. There's some Kanar tribes, the Brass Dragon tribe. Uh, there's a couple of red tents for the Charir tribe. They're very, very far away. They're kind of isolated on their own. It's a big, big gathering, and they're all here protesting Barantha's uh, actions over the last few years. You can hear the noise as the desert, the hot desert wind blows in your faces, just zooming along at, at top speed as fast as possible on four separate carpets towards the rocky promontory in the far distance. And in that far distance, there's a perimeter around the base of the cliff, the war camps, the tents of Brontha with the banner of the sun flying, flapping in the desert wind over them, the light glinting off their polished spears and mail as the soldiers stand in formation, not attacking, but standing resolved, clearly forming a shield wall against the tribesfolk who have all gathered probably within 50 to 20 feet of them and are all yelling. The noise is tremendous, but it's going to take you a little while to get there. 
So why don't we go ahead and turn back to Athalor, who's going after the sage, correct? Mm-hmm. Okay. You make your way up to the office where the sage has been working. And it takes a moment, but the after your third knock, the door opens. You see her sitting on the ground, her eyes rapidly twitching under her eyelids, deep in trance, but just making the slight gestures of a mage hand spell to open the door for you. I know that you're not supposed to interfere in matters that are just beyond between the mortals. But I think that something's about to happen, which is part of the infernal plan. Tell me. So we, we told you about how Merrick engineered Garnet's tragedy to turn her into a apprentice of this kind of magic and how you think that it's a plan of all the infernals that myself garnet ariana alex mason we all ended up here yes i think that the dragon tribes are, they're currently engineering a new trauma for garnet to seemingly i don't know uh well uh, long story short they're trying to assassinate the bronthan delegation that's coming this way and they probably think that if they can do that, they can somehow, I don't know, mentally break Garnet, reduce the defenses of the Academy, or turn her into some kind of weapon. Because last time this happened, she became, well, what she is now. She was pushed into that life. You need to re-up this, and we should go there and make sure that doesn't happen. Roll persuasion check, please, Athelor. That's my dice. Oh, a good old 12. There we go. Mm, 12. I am obviously taking into account the strengths of your argument as well. This isn't just a you roll two and she's like, eh, don't feel like it. <laughs> you busy. know what? <laughs> Fuck them kids. Nah. <laughs> Takes a moment. Looks at you. Nods. All right. I wanted to go with them, but they could only teleport so many, and I was worried that if things got complicated, then Mind Blank would run out in the night, and everyone would be exposed, and you wouldn't know where we were. She rises to her feet and nods and says, If this is some part of their larger game, it behooves me to act. And she'll place her hand upon your temple and channel the scintillating blue power of the dream magic that she wields. And you can feel that barrier surrounding your mind once again. Long before it collapsed, long before it fell, she goes ahead and activates that. She then takes a moment and places her hands on her own temples. She pulls a hummingbird feather from her pocket holds it for a moment, and just goes into intense focus. Little threads of that blue light emerge and wrap around her head, flowing back into her temples. It takes her a minute to cast the spell as she places foresight on herself. What other preparations would she need to make? Let's see, let's see. I think that's about it. Where were they headed, Athalor? Uh, to the, on the path from Bronfer to here. Um, Master Rednock could probably scry the exact location. There's a huge encampment of dragon tribes. They've been essentially blockading the Bronfen delegation to keep them there until the seeming assassins can arrive. All right. She is going to head, take you and head towards Red Knob's office, which is going to take a few minutes, which is enough time for Garnet and Ariana 
to continue their approach. Is there anything that you need to cover before you arrive? Or are you ready to arrive on the scene, Garnet and Ariana? I'm following Garnet's lead on this one, so <laughs> I don't know. Okay. Probably teasing Elna as we're flying over, like, I told you we didn't need more than eight. <laughs> Just with the thousands of fucking people. She eyes you for a moment. This isn't our concern. We're just going to go prevent the assassination. All right. As you get closer, the eyes of the Bronthan army fall upon you, even as you approach rapidly. And Ariana, you hear a message in your head. Halt. Approach no further. State your identities and your intentions. If you intend us ill, the light of Zalar will prevail. You can reply to this message. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> Who is it? Who's there? <laughs> I love Ariana so much. Hey, Garni, did you hear that? What? Someone's <laughs> talking to me in my head. Who? I can hear voices in there. Did you ask? <laughs> they haven't said anything yet, but they said, Halt, do not go further. State your business or we shall smite you. Or something what? like that. <laughs> want to kill us your, which... your call means a lot to us <laughs> what um, do i say after all now do i tell them why we're here don't talk to the enemy master all now uh, ariana's getting threats in her head hello plus one xp you still haven't answered it, me <laughs> it was in your head it was probably a sending spell oh but it, but, but i should I should be able to talk back. No. Have you been talking this entire time, Ariana? <laughs> <laughs> to them? Oh, the out loud? No. The response can only be up to can. 25 words. It's kind of cut off in the middle. Like, someone's in my head. <laughs> <laughs> Hello? <laughs> Who is this? Who's there? Is that a story? I America? was counting. Yeah, I was counting. I was counting. That's what the fingers were for. I was, in fact, counting. And your collect call expired a while ago. <laughs> As you fly over the gathered armies towards the, you can see on this rocky promontory, there's uh, they've set up fortifications and a, a lift with pulleys and everything that goes all the way down to the feet of the cliff where the arm, most of the camps of the armies are gathered. And on the very top of the rocks is a wooden palisade that's been erected around several magnificent tents. There are wooden watchtowers with siege weapons deployed. The flag of Brontha and the flag of the Phoenix Knights ripple in the wind, even as a strange fog pours down from the mountains. And as you draw closer and closer, you see guards down below shouting to each other and turning siege weapons in your direction. And we'll see if we can avoid a diplomatic incident when we return momentarily ah. on Book of Dawn, Eye of the Academy. Don't go anywhere, folks. We'll be back after this break. <laughs> 